Let me show you how you can split an image in Inkscape in a very easy way. What do I mean with splitting an image? As you can see here, I have a landscape image that I've split in two pieces. As you can see, I can select different pieces and I can move them around and these are splitted. To split an object, it's pretty straightforward. You just draw a rectangle here, we just have some filling, we remove the border. To add some filling, I just can click here on black and in order to remove the border, I can just press shift and click here on none and then let's change the opacity to 100. Then we get the Bezier Pen tool, which you can also click B. We select it from here on the side, we draw a Bezier line here, we just press Enter. So this has created our line, we color it in red by pressing Shift and then selecting the color. And here in the Fill and Stroke tab, which you can open it by clicking on this button here if it's not already open. So we can select the width of this line here to 3 and then we can press enter, so we have our line. We align it to the center of the image, so we select the line, we select the rectangle, and then we go here into the align and distribute object tab. So we can click here and we can click on center on the vertical axis and center on the horizontal axis. Now that we have these two, we select them both, we can go here in path and then division. This is split our rectangle in two. So as you can see here, I can move the rectangle. If I keep pressing Ctrl, I can just move it on the X axis or on the Y axis. So great, we have a splitted our object. But for an image, it's not that simple. So let me import the same image that I was using before, which I have it in downloads, and I can put it here. So here that the image now is embedded in our document, let's see what I can do. So first thing that I can do is uh, if I want to just to extract this road here, I can just draw a rectangle on top and then I can click on the opacity and change it to 50, let's say. I just uh, can adjust this rectangle here to what I like. Let's say that I just want this part here. I want just to cut this part here. I can click S to get the select tool. I can select them both and then I can click on object, clip, set. This is going to cut and is going to keep only this part of the image, but it's going to delete all the rest of the image. What if we want to use also the rest of the image? So let's go and import the image again and I will show you how to split the image. So let's import the image again here from downloads. In Windows you can just drag the image directly into our canvas here. Now let's go and draw some lines on top of it. So we get the Bezier tool. And then we, if you have the snap to grid on, which you can see here on the right side, we can just draw some lines. So I'm going to draw them on the corners here. Perfect. I'm just going to press enter and then I'm going to go here to the fill and distribute and we're going to change the line thickness to three. So it's nice and visible. Then we get the circle and ellipsis tool and then we draw a circle and ellipsis. We press uh, here, so we say no fill with the left click and then we um, select uh, if you want to change the color, for instance, shift and black. This is going to change the color of the border of the ellipses. Now we need to do a couple of things that we have designed the um, shape that we want to split our image. Of course, this is just my personal uh, thing. And of course, you can select different shape. You could have drawn some shape here with the Bezier tool or whatever you wanted. So the first thing that we need to do is to select the shapes only. So both the ellipses and the Bezier curve. Here we want to deselect the image just in case it was selected. And then we go here path and then we click on combine, which could have done also with Ctrl K. Then we select the image and this is the key passage that you need to know. And then you go in object and then pattern, object to pattern. Then once you have the image selected, you can click back here to our um, set of lines and then you can do uh, central align and vertical align. Then you can finally click on path and then click on division. This is going to split our image into different parts. So as you can see here, we have different parts that we can move around and we can do whatever we want. Let me quickly show you that if you forget to click on here, object, pattern, and object to pattern, this is not going to work. So let's finally import the image once more. 
here. This time we use a different line, so again we use the Bezier curve, but we are going to draw a different shape. So we can click here, and then we can click here, and then we can click here, let's say, and then we click somewhere here. Okay, so now we have our line. Let's go back here to the, to the fill and then put three, so you can easily see the line. Now let's click on S, select. We select both the image and the line that we have. And let's go to Path and then Division. As you can see, nothing has changed, so the image was not cut. But if I go to Object, Pattern, Object to Pattern, and then again, I do the same process. So I select the image and the line, and I go to Path, Division. This has cut our image in two parts. I really hope you find this video interesting. If you did, please consider liking the video and subscribing to my channel. If you have any question, please let me know in the comment section below. If you want to support this channel, you can do so by buying me a coffee, supporting me or on Patreon, or you can join my channel. More information on how to buy me a coffee down in the video description below. Thank you very much for listening and see you in the next video.